in June of 2012, I adopted a scared little pup named Qbert from the San Antonio Animal Care Services Department located off of Highway 151 here in San Antonio, Texas. Although I'm an absolute fan of the arcade game, we quickly renamed this curious pup to Tracker. Tracker had recently been returned to the animal care facility because he still had a remaining case of kennel cough, and the previous owners didn't have time to deal with that. This was a fantastic stroke of great fortune for us because that gave us the opportunity to take Tracker into our household. Tracker quickly recovered from his bout of kennel cough, and he also got over his fear of riding in cars with the assistance of some well-timed treats. In addition to the occasional puppuccino, Tracker really loves chasing around the little red dot that flies around the floors of our house sometimes. So many things have changed since we brought Tracker into the house, but one thing that hasn't changed is that he still can't quite manage to get his paws on that little red dot. It's always seeming to sneak out of sight under one object or another, and it just mysteriously disappears. It's probably better that that dot disappears at times, though, because it gives Tracker a lot of time to reflect on what happened and to take naps. Sometimes he's just too tired to eat his snacks, but he's still curious about how to get snacks out of the little snack toys. In addition to observing and interacting with the treat dispenser toys until he's mastered them, Tracker really enjoys looking outside and seeing who's coming up the walkway. In addition to barking to announce delivery people, Tracker will pretty much bark to announce anyone else who's arriving at our location, and he'll only stop to chew on his treats. Tracker used to enjoy rawhides the best, but he's since graduated to elk antlers, and he does everything he can to try and score a plate of human food. We're extremely lucky to have Tracker as a part of our family. He's enriched our lives just as much as we've tried to enrich his. And he brings a dynamic of absolute cuteness to the house. When I was growing up, I didn't have the opportunity to have a fur baby in my own household. If you yourself have room in your heart and your home to take on this kind of responsibility, be sure to look to your local animal shelter and adopt responsibly. Best friends come in all shapes and sizes, but one thing they all have in common, they all speak the language of love. Have a great day, and thanks for watching.